Well, I was happily uh, pleased to see that Catherine Newton uh, and uh, Lisa Frankenstein teaser was on the beginning of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. What is this movie about? Uh, well, Lisa Frankenstein is uh, it's set in 1989. An unpopular high school girl named Lisa accidentally reanimates a handsome Victorian corpse during a lightning storm and starts to rebuild him into the man of her dreams by using broken a broken tanning bed in her garage. Yeah, so it's 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 a bit of a silly kind of thing. Um, but we just saw her in Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. This Catherine Newton, right? Uh, Catherine Newton. It's got Carla Gugino in it. That's cool. Jenna Davis, Cole Sprouse. Um, yeah. Uh, the trailer played up that hamminess. I like going back to the 80s with the frizzy hair and stuff like that. That was kind of fun. Uh, I, I, Catherine Newton, I got nothing against. I think she's going to be a, a, a good actress for years to come, and I think she's got a great career ahead of her. Uh, this seems like it's a campy kind of thing. They know that it's silly, that she, it's the Frankenstein monster, and uh, but it's kind of also kind of like, wait a minute, he's reanimated flesh, and you want to Date him? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be quirky. Um, let's see what people are saying about it in the comments. I'm happy for Zelda. This looks fantastic. Directorial debut. Oh, yeah, we can uh, we can talk about that right now. Um, it's directed by Zelda Williams, daughter of the late Robin Williams. And if this is her directorial debut... Color me intrigued. No, it's not. Look, she's got 11 other directing credits. That's not her directorial debut. She's done music videos. Oh, okay. So this is her first full-length feature then. She's done some TV stuff. Um, Lisa Frankenstein. Okay. But, as I said, uh, it's campy comes out uh in february right february 9th for valentine's day lacy dover and i think that uh i think it's gonna hopefully dance that fine line of that campiness with silliness and aud audaciousness and hopefully this guy who plays frankenstein brings it because uh if, the, if it doesn't work it's all it's all on him right <laughs> or it may be her as well but i think it's got the potential there to be hilarious. And he does look like, uh, is that supposed to be like a, a play on uh, Demon Barber? I don't know. It looks a little bit like it, right? Uh, but I'm looking forward to going back to the 1980s. Yeah, Lisa Frankenstein is giving me Warm Bodies vibes with Nicholas Holt. Yeah, maybe like a mix-up of uh, Warm Bodies with uh, Demon Barber. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to sing. But it's probably going to have a lot of 80s throwbacks uh, music. The score for it should be interesting. I think she's supposed to be like Madonna here or something like that. But I, I, I dig it, man. I, I dug the trailer. This looks like uh, great. This looks great. I love the use of Kim Petras for the music. Definitely getting Heather's vibes from the trailer. Heather's. That's an interesting poll. Yeah. Guys, from... Focus features. Did you guys check out this trailer? Are you planning to uh, check it out? Uh, like visually, things in camera look like they're well captured. Like look at that shot. Um, cinematography is interesting. Um, and it should be hopefully just a fun time. <laughs> Campy time. Uh, Lisa Frankenstein, February 9th. What do you guys think about that trailer? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not going to publish a, 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 re, uh, a reaction to it, uh, but you'll get this little clip out later on. Let's move on and talk about Aquaman 2 and some of the drama that's been going on behind the scenes there. Uh, the other day,